In our last video, we talked about the advantages of sorting and auto filter to find data in the database um, in Excel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be climb, climbing the ladder of sophistication and look at something that is a more advanced called custom auto filter. So auto filter and pivot tables can only do so much when it comes to manipulating data. Auto filter does have a custom feature that goes beyond simple sorting. So the custom auto filter allows you to do and or queries per data field. Now let me break that down. What do we, what do we mean by queries? Queries, that's just a database term for searches. And field is another word for columns of data. So an and or search. An and search condition returns records that satisfy both criteria. criteria. For example, if you were looking for my information in a faculty database, you could be searching for last names that begin with the letter M and end with the letter S, and my name would come up. But a, a name like Monroe or Mendez would not come up. Even though they satisfy one of the criteria, beginning with M, they don't satisfy both criteria. So both criteria must be satisfied with an AND query. An OR is more expansive search than an AND query. Only one of the two conditions need to be satisfied. So in the last example, uh, begins with M or ends with S, my name would come up. Also, Mendez uh, would come up, even though it begins with M but ends with Z. Uh, and a, a name like uh, uh, Jones would also come up because it ends with S even though it doesn't begin with M. So you get more results with an OR search than with an AND search. So what I want you to do is I want you to open up the uh, workbook uh, that we've used last video, and it's the link to the workbook is above this video, and go to the faculty data sheet, and you see the faculty data pay, uh, database. And you should see something that looks like this. Now, like I said before, the first step in working with a database in Excel is always have the active cell in the database. That's because Excel will detect that's in the database and it will do some steps for you so you don't have to uh, do more work. So make sure the active cell is in the database and then on the menu tab, click data. Then in the sort and filter group, I want you to click on filter. And you should see the little down arrows uh, for each field, right? Click on the down arrow next to last name, right there. And then what I want you to do is I want you to uh, click or click on the text filters option right here, and that opens up a drop down menu, and click the custom filter option. Now here we can do our AND OR searches. As you can see, we have the AND operator and OR operator right here. So click on the down arrow right here and select begins with. And then to the right, type the letter J. So we want a last name that begins with J. Now type in the down arrow right here, select ends with, and then type the letter N right next to it. Now make sure that the AND operator is selected right there and click OK. And you can see we only have two results, Jackson and Jacobson, and both of those satisfy the crit criteria we've laid out. It begins with J and ends with N. Now let's do the same thing with the OR operator. So we have to restore our records. How do we do that? Click on the down arrow next to last name and click on clear filter from last name and our records are restored. So click on the down arrow again next to last name. Click on the uh, text filters option and then select custom filter. 
So this is going to be very sim uh, similar to the steps we went through before, except you want to select the OR operator here. And click on the down arrow right here. Select begins with. Make sure the letter J is in the box next to it. Then click the down arrow right here. Select ends with. Make sure the, the letter N is right there. And then click OK. And you can see we have more options. We have Jackson and Jacobson, but we also have uh, something like Nelson that ends with N. It doesn't begin with J, but we use the OR operator, so only one of the two criteria has to be um, established. So you can see how this custom model filter, you could it's very flexible in terms of what you're looking for. You could search for the first three letters of a last name. You could search for the exact spelling of last name. You could look for values greater than or less than so very useful to find data in a database now this data that you've just located you can now copy this paste it to someplace else and then work with that subset of data and not disturb your uh, database so now let's look at the most advanced way of finding data in a database that's advanced auto filter now let me tell you one of the things, one of the big advantages of advanced auto filter. Um, one of the big advantages is sometimes you're looking for data and you are not quite sure what you're looking for. In other words, you want to try different searches and you want to accumulate search results. Now you can't really do that with sorting or filtering. With Even with custom filter, when you do a search, uh, there's one search and now if you want to accumulate search results in addition to what you've already found what you've got to do is you've got to do a series of copying and pasting to accumulate those search results uh, here you don't have to do that the other significant thing to know about custom or advanced auto filter is that it's not widely used even though it's been around for years I don't see it used very often but that does not mean it's not useful. I just think it's underutilized. So let's look at it. So pivot tables and auto filters are limited in their ability to query data. And we're going to be going over pivot tables later in the, uh, in the course. Even with uh, auto filters custom option, you're limited to and queries across columns. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you could do a search for everybody who in finance and who work full time. That's one and search. But you couldn't do, in addition to that, another and search, like you wanted to find everybody who's in accounting that is assistant. In other words, those are two different and searches, and you would have to do them separately. With advanced auto filter, you could do as many and or or searches at once. You, and so, in other words, you could, you could continually add criteria to your search, and you don't have to repeat this process. So, to, to perform more complex queries, such as the one just described, we need the advanced filter. And with advanced filter, you're no longer limited just to one column of data. But before you apply your advanced filter, you have to set up what we call filter definitions. Now, filter definitions is the one stumbling block most users uh, run into when using advanced filters. In other words, they get confused. If you can get past setting up a filter definition, you could easily use auto, uh, advanced auto filters. So let's set up our filter definitions. Now, again, a filter definition is simply telling Excel what to look for and what field to look in. That's a filter definition. So let's do this. So the definitions consists of row headings and what to look for in that field. Let's look at it. So go to the faculty data worksheet. And what I like to do is when I want to set up a filter definition and list the column heading, I like to copy that column heading rather than type it to make sure that there's no misspellings. So why don't you select cell C2, copy it, and then paste it over in I2. So we're setting up our filter definitions to the right of the database. 
but you could set up your filter definition anywhere that you want. You could set it up in a different sheet, a different part of the uh, a sheet, wherever. We're just setting it up right here. Now, the other field we want to look in is rank. So select cell D2, copy that, and then paste it in J2. So we've set up the two column labels where we want Excel to look. And now we've got to tell Excel what to look for. So select cell I3 and type finance and then hit enter. So we want to look in the department field and find everybody who's in finance. Now select J3 and type full. So what we've just done is we've set up an and search. Find everybody who's in finance and full time. If we wanted to change this to an or search, we would just shift full one cell down. So this cell J3 is blank. That would be an or search. Find everybody who's in finance. And since nothing would be in here, that would be one search or everybody who's full time and there was nothing here. So when you want to set up an or search, you set your, your search criteria on different rows and and search they're on the same row now we could do this search with a custom auto filter but what we can't do is another and search at the same time so let's set that up select i4 and type accounting then select j4 and type assistant and hit enter so can you see how these are two and searches find uh, everybody who's a finance full-time or find everybody who's accounting and assistant. So when you combine two and searches, it really becomes one big or search. So this is it. This is the filter definitions. If you know how to set this up, you know how to use uh, advanced filtering. All we've got to do is run it. So how do we run it? Um, go to the data tab, go to the sort and filter group, and then click on advanced and you should see something that looks like this. Let's examine what we see here. First of all, the criteria range. That's what you just set up to the right of the database, right? And now let's look at the list range. That's your database from A2 to G43. Now we could filter within the database just like we did with a custom auto filter or auto filter. Or you could copy your results into a new location. This is what I like if you want to accumulate search results. So click on copy to another location. And the question is, where is it going to copy to? Well, it's going to copy right here. I7 to 07. That's where it's going to copy. Now, all you got to do is click OK and it runs the search. There you go. Do you see we found everybody who's in finance full time? and that's accounting and assistant and what you can do is you could add search criteria to your filter definition resize the filter range and then you can run this again and you could accumulate your search results so what i'm going to do is i'm going to experiment a little bit more uh, with this later on in the class but i wanted you to know that this is a very powerful way of finding information in a database